In this week's parasha, parasha Pinchas, <coughs> we are told that Moshe Rabbeinu appoints Yeshua as a replacement for himself to lead Klal Yisrael. The Medrash, the Alpha, tells us that the first Roshah that Yeshua gave in the presence of Moshe Rabbeinu, Moshe Rabbeinu and Klal Yisrael lifted their heads to listen, and Yeshua said, Baruch Hashem Asher Bochar Ba'amu Yisrael V'nosam Lahem Torah Lidei Moshe Rabbeinu. He benches the Rabbeinu Shleilam who chose in Kali Yisrael and gave them Torah via Moshe Rabbeinu. <coughs> very interesting way to start your very first Rosha. What was Yeshua saying to Kali Yisrael over here? What was the message he was trying to give them? And besides, there's another question. Yeshua being the primary Talmud of Moshe Rabbeinu, would it not have been befitting for him to have done as his Rebbe did that when he was offered the job to lead Kali Yisrael, he would refuse and it would take seven days of convincing in order to get him to lead Kali Yisrael? Moshe Rabbeinu refused, and the Rabbeinu Shalem approached him whilst he was still in Midian, yet we find that Yeshua didn't refuse at all. He explains the Ksav Sefer that this is the answer that Yeshua wanted to give Kali Yisrael in his very first drosha. I didn't refuse to take this job, and you should know why, because this job is distinctively different from the one that Moshe Rabbeinu, my Rebbe, had to do. Moshe Rabbeinu, my Rebbe, was taking Kali Yisrael, was going to mould them into a people. They, as of yet, were not an arm. They were just a bunch of slaves in, in Mitzrayim. He was going to have to take them and make them into a nation, make them into a people that's ready to receive the Torah, take them out of Mitzrayim and all the nation, give them the Torah and teach them how to keep it. However, Yeshua was taking over a nation that was already the Dordea, they were already keeping the Torah, they were already a formed Am, living in their Degolim, living in their, ca in their camps, according to their flags, according to their tribes, things were Masuda. All he had to do was to continue the job that Moshe Rabbeinu had begun. That is Pshat and what Chazal say that Moshe Rabbeinu was like the sun and Yeshua was like the moon. But Moshe Rabbeinu was like the sun which means that he had to initiate everything. He had to begin the process. He had to give the original light. Yeshua, however, was only to be that person who would continue that which had already begun. To take the light of the sun and continue to make that shine as the moon which takes the light of the sun and continues to make that shine to the world.